you've enjoyed our uh, very inspirational show. And now, even though it's not hockey, there's always something going on. And not only does Tracy have something important to say about hockey, but more importantly, she has a very big uh, announcement to make about the Waterfront Warriors coming up. So that's always good news. So let's give it up for the hockey spin with Tracy Lynn. This Sunday, they are having a parade to welcome the soldiers to Long Beach down on Beach Street. It starts in Ohio. The parade begins at 3 p.m. It'd be wonderful to see everybody come out and show their support for these heroes. They're coming in from Walter Reed Hospital. And of course, the Waterfront Warriors sponsor them, uh, you know, through fundraising throughout the uh, area. And, you know, these wounded soldiers come in and we give them and their families uh, vacations. And the Alegria puts them up and, uh, you know, surfing lessons and things like that. So it'd be great to come. Come down and see them, have a parade, have a great time, cheer them on, and welcome them to Long Beach so we, I know we all can. And then, of course, Saturday morning there was also a 5K for the Waterfront Warriors. I'll be trying to run, <laughs> but I'll be there. Uh, not a lot going on in hockey. Uh, of course, the Devils did. I, I do have a segment prepared. It's on my desk at home, of okay. course. How many times have I done this one? Um, the Devils did name a new head coach after Jack LeMaire retired, and it's Pete DeVore, who uh, was fired by the Florida Panthers back in April. So it'll be interesting. This is another defensive-minded coach. It just seems to be a theme with the Devils, but we'll see how that one goes for him. And then, of course, Chris Osgood retired. Uh, Detroit goaltender won several Stanley Cups with them. Used to be uh, with the New York Islanders. He announced his retirement today after 17 seasons. The debate's already beginning whether or not he belongs in the Hall of Fame. I'm in the camp that he absolutely does belong in the Hockey Hall of Fame. And uh, I'll campaign for him if he wants me to. And then also, uh, two players were, I mean, two of the best players in the NHL had been unsigned for um, some time, and that was Drew Doughty of the LA Kings and then Steven Stamkos from Tampa Bay. Well, Steven Stamkos uh, signed a five year deal today with the um, Tampa Bay Lightning. I believe the terms of the deal was five years for $37.5 million. So he's like 20. 3, 24 years old, so good for him. He's an extremely talented player, definitely a cornerstone of that organization. Good to have him back. Drew Doughty remains unsigned, still in negotiations with the LA Kings. It'll be interesting to see what happens. And uh, that's about it going on in hockey right now. Oh, no, there's not. Joe, uh, tying hockey in with golf. Joe Sackick, my favorite player of all time, former captain of the Colorado Avalanche, until he retired, hit a $1 million hole in one in golf the other day at a tournament. Half a million dollars is going to charity. He gets the pocket the other half. So good for you, Joe. Love you, miss you. And that's the Hockey Spin with Tracy. Right, and I'll see up. you next Tuesday with Billiards. All right. All right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this show, we're, we're blessed to have, being Long Beach, to have great sponsors. And we just added four new sponsors to the show. And I call them the Special K. And uh, Eddie Digital is going to help me out with this. The Casda Real Estate Group. What would that begin with, Eddie Digital? Half time, I believe that would begin with a K. All right, there you go. Another new sponsor where we're going to be live. You want to get a great workout live from the Coco Fit Club on August 9th? What does Coco Fit Club begin with? Half time, call me crazy, but that's another K. All right. Right down the block from Pecnic, Pecnic, and Schaefer, it's Knights of Columbus, which begins with any digital. That would be a K halftime. <laughs> and then we have Hub Billiards. What does that begin with, Eddie? Halftime, I'm a little confused. I don't think Hub Billiards believe, begins with a K. No, Eddie, it's Hub Billiards of Island Park. What does Island Park end with, Eddie Digital? Oh, a K. Super K sponsors, there you go. Mark Tannenbaum, what's new coming up with the Chamber of Commerce? The best commerce in all of Long Island is the Long Beach Chamber of Commerce. The best and the biggest. Well, we're pushing forward towards um, uh, Quicksilver Week, which will be September 1st to September 15th. Uh, we have the coupon books coming up, and we're getting ready to close on them. We have over 70 uh, people sponsoring in them. We're going to be doing that going forward with the Herald. And so it's going to be a special book, it's going to be full color and everything, and it's going to really be great. Then there's going to be a guide that's being put together. In a few days, we're going to be getting into the chamber 200,000 coasters that are going to be given out to all the bars and restaurants 
that have the Quicksilver logo and the Chamber logo on it. There's going to be t-shirts coming to be given out to all the waiters and waitresses and bartenders and everybody else who's going to help out Quicksilver. Then right around the corner, we have coming up restaurant week, the middle two weeks of October, the best restaurant week on Long Island. 26 to 30 restaurants always participate in it. $19.99, can't beat it. Two weeks, three weekends. And right after that, we have our annual dinner dance, which is the biggest dinner dance on Long Island. Somewhere around 800 people. Our man of the year this year is Alan Rosenberg, owner of the Allegria Hotel, who's also one of the sponsors of the Quicksilver event, bringing it in here into Long Beach. Um, Robert uh, Carter is the um, uh, professional of the year. And we have the... That's it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. So that'll be coming up right around the corner. Let's give it up for Mark Terrible. <laughs> Before I go to break, I want to ask everybody in this room, what's the greatest city in the world to live in? Long, Long Beach. Beach! And is it a great idea to buy a home in Long Beach? Yes! yes. All right, and that with that intro, after the break, we're going to hear the Kasner Long Beach Real Estate Report! Woo! My name is Halftime Howard. This is broadcasting on the beach with Halftime Howard from the prestigious law offices of Pecnic Pecnic. Schaefer of the Wild West End of Long Beach from Long Island's first and oldest radio station.